You've built a new PC or upgraded your existing one, and now it's time to install Windows. Pretty straightforward, right? Isn't it just a case of inserting the installation USB, clicking through the prompts, and arriving at your fresh new desktop? Well, it turns out there are still issues that you can run into, even though the process is supposed to be mostly automated. We're gonna tell you all about these issues and how to avoid them, starting with the first screen you see once the installer loads up. If you're attempting to install Windows 11 without extra bloatware, pick English World in the time and currency format field. You might get an error message, but just skip it. And once you get into the Windows desktop, you will need to change your country to the appropriate setting in order to get the Microsoft Store working. As if there's something on the Microsoft Store that you want. Just joking, sometimes they force you. But regardless of whether you care about bloatware, what if the installer doesn't even list your system's drives when it asks you where you want to install Windows? Although Windows can usually recognize your drives automatically, there are still times when this won't happen. Fortunately, you can always download storage drivers from the manufacturer's website and either put them on your installation USB before installing Windows or on a different USB if your computer has another free port. Click load driver, follow the instructions, and your drive should pop up. Speaking of drives, it can also be a good idea to disconnect any extra drives before you install Windows. Not only does this ensure you won't accidentally pick the wrong drive, but Windows can sometimes weirdly install certain installation files on a separate disk, especially if you already have another copy of Windows installed on that drive. So if you ever remove or wipe that drive, your Windows installation could just Stop working. But once you get past these first few steps, you can still get tripped up because of the way Windows 11 installer now requires you to be online. We'll tell you how to deal with this right after we thank Drop for sponsoring this video. Their H3X gaming headset in collaboration with EPOS is a budget-friendly gaming headset that works with PCs and consoles. Its closed back build ensures a clean, isolated soundstage for in-game cues. And it has a lift to mute microphone so your friends don't have to hear your dog barking in the background anymore. Once you're done gaming for the day, you can hang your headphones on the EPOS GSA 50 headphone hanger, which conveniently attaches to the side of your desk. Get 20% off the Drop Plus EPOS H3X gaming headset today using the link in the description. Previous versions of Windows allowed you to skip through network setup, but no longer. This presents a couple of problems. The first is that like with drives, the Windows installer sometimes won't automatically install a driver for your ethernet or Wi-Fi controller. Fortunately, also with drives, you can mitigate this problem by downloading the driver beforehand, but you'll need a bit of command line wizardry to install them. Hold Shift and F10 to bring up the command prompt. Type in this command to open up the device manager, find your ethernet or Wi-Fi adapter, and update the driver manually. But here's the other problem. What if you wanna bypass the need for an internet connection entirely? This can be a legitimate concern if you don't wanna sign up for a Microsoft account, or you simply need to get into Windows and you're in a place without a connection handy. Imagine that, and unlike previous versions of Windows, you're not presented with an option to just use a local account. To get around this, ensure you're not connected to the internet. Disconnect your ethernet cable or Wi-Fi adapter if you have to, and bring up the command prompt again. Type in this command and the computer will restart. After going through the subsequent screens, you should see an option that says, I don't have internet, which you can click through to a limited setup option that will let you proceed without an internet connection. Will this approach work forever? Given Microsoft's push to continue integrating Windows with its cloud services, it's anyone's guess whether they'll make offline installation even harder in the future. Do you have any suggestions for your fellow users faced with a new Windows 11 install? Let us know down below. And if you wanna find out why Windows 11 still doesn't have all that many users compared to Windows 10, go watch this video next.